got ourselves a heck of a nice channel cast. Yeah. Stay tuned and hopefully we're going to be bringing you a bunch of these guys tonight. Say I can sit here and video if you want to grab it. What do I do? Just grab them and fling them in. <laughs> oh yeah, nice channel. All right. First one. Yeah, we're out here on the Fox River tonight. Set a handful of poles. Very beginning of April. Come out here to do some cut baiting and. Catch some channel cats. Take jo off, I got him. Joe just pulled in the first one, so I'm gonna get them off and we'll check him out. He's probably a good six, seven pounds at least. All right. Hey, well, we pulled up to the third pole and it wasn't moving, but it was a uh, tangled up on a little stick. But it's definitely got a fish, so let's see what it is. It doesn't feel very big. All right, little channel. Couple pounder, nice. Perfect eater here. Perfect. Awesome. Like I was saying, we're out on the Fox River. It's the very beginning of April. I think, what is it, second or third? Third, third or fourth. Yeah, know. third or fourth. Joe's been catching a couple channel cats here in his yard, or across from his yard. and We figured we'd come out and run some cut bait on some bank poles and catch some early season channel cats. And let's see how we do tonight. This is the second one out of a couple poles, so. Stay tuned. Yep. Hey, anyway, well, it's definitely a lethargic fish again because pulled all the way up to this one, didn't even have a clue, went to lift it, didn't even wiggle at all, but let's see what we got. There's a fish on here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Little channel. Nice, ooh, nice little guy. Fat guy. Alright. That's a chubby fish right there. That is a big old fat gun on him. Not bad. Three gotta out of four. These, gotta love these circle hooks. We're gonna corner them out every time. Three out of four. That is a chunker. Cool, cool. Alrighty. Well, we're having a good time here. As you can see, it's supposed to get down in the 30s tonight, so we're out. We were wondering how it was gonna be and end up, but. Can't beat these odds. It's only 9.20, 9.30 when we left to check, so we're going to do another check probably around midnight. So stay tuned, and hopefully we're going to be bringing you a bunch of these guys tonight. It was bobbing. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to hold the tree, and you can grab it. Got it. One on? Nice. I was going to say flip him in before he falls off just in case. <laughs> Alright. Four out of five poles. Another nice perfect eater. Couple pounder. Awesome. Sweet.
Yep, got her. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Number five. Six poles. Five fish. Five fish. That's some good odds right there, man. Take that any day. Darn right. And they're perfect eater size. That one was a big one, that first one, but all these ones so far are just like that perfect three, four pounds. Heck yeah. Got us a nice little chunk of cut chub. Using creek chubs today for baits. Been the ticket so far. We'll see you guys on the next one. We're going to back out of here so we can drop this good. Go ahead. Alrighty. This one was real hard to try to video coming up on because we have it out here. As you can see, the pole's just a barely 12 inches out of the water. They might not be able to see it, but we'll show you this one in the morning. And uh, super fast current right here and just so hard to, chat or to video. So got ourselves a heck of a nice channel cat here. This is a real good one. So... This has been an awesome night so far. Seven poles and six cats. So we're going to put this one in the live well and keep on rolling. A couple more to check. Stay with us. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at their bellies. Fish. 100% of fish. Get me up to the tree and I'll let you, I'll let you grab it. There's a hell of a drop off right here, man. It goes from seven foot to three foot real quick. Right? Really? Yeah. That's nice. Cut, cut over. I can't see. Yeah. Yeah, it gets shallow real fast. Does it? Got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, still nice. Oh yeah, nice eater. Still a good one. Awesome. Awesome. Heck yeah. Eight out of eight out of ten. Seven out of ten. You're blinding me with your light. <laughs> there you go. Seven out of ten or eight out of ten. Uh. Seven. Seven out of ten. The two live baits. Yep. Didn't have any fish, and then one cut bait didn't have fish. Nice. Awesome. All right. Well, we were heading to the boat launch, and I said, "Hey, isn't, don't we have a pole here? We're getting towards the front of the line." Can you push us off that tree? Yes, I can. And uh, sure enough, we pull up to this thing, and the line ain't even remotely facing the right way, and the pole did a little bob. But we're gonna see what we got. And say here you want the camera and you can be able to hold us. I might be able to. I got no light on my head. Okay, here. Well, hold on. Oh, sorry. That was okay. You can hit that. Yeah, hold on one second. Seems very big. Nope. Just a little guy, but it's still a matter of what, an hour? Yeah, it's been out an hour. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is one extra. This is awesome. <laughs> and they're perfect eaters. I mean, that one's probably two pounds, two and a half pounds. Perfect eaters. Awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. Had to start a little late on this one. Current, we got one. Awesome. He's a perfect size when we get. Got a couple nice big ones, but he's a perfect size. Again, we're out here on the Fox, and it's the beginning of April, and we're having a blast catching these channels. So, 
just started checking. We got on the third pole, so stay tuned. We should have much more today. All right, everyone, this is a spot last night. We had two fish on this pole. We checked it and had a fish. And it feels like we got, yeah, we got a fish here again. Um, kind of want to explain this spot on how good of a spot this is and what to look for. This is an inlet to a channel or a creek mouth. I'm not sure exactly which it is. I'd have to look on Google Maps. Um, this is a big swamp with a lot of trees back here. And the current is obviously going this way. So we put this pole using cut bait on this upper river side and uh, nice little channel cat and now with the scent going with the current covering this mouth early in the year like this this is very beginning of april like i said and uh all these channel cats kind of tend to congregate and come into these tributaries and little mud flats and sloughs because it's obviously the warmer water first off and then it's slacker water and gets the dead bait from winter kills and stuff in it and channel cats that's just a hot spot for them so if you see spots like this this is a prime spot to set up a pole or to fish with rod and reel and like i was saying we're on the upper river side so all current any fish going in and out of here will smell this bait so it's worked we checked this pole three times and had three channel cats on this one pole so we got some more to check stay tuned All these cats have like perfect handles. Yes, they do. They in and they got a nice bones. little bone right there to hold yeah. on to. Alrighty, came up to one of Joe's poles here. Got a little, nice little tiny one. That's one of these smoke holes. <laughs> We're at 12 now. We still have a handful of poles to check, so we're only halfway through. We'll bring a couple more. Alright, he just pulled up to Joe's second pole that he's head out. We got another little cat on here. Yeah, not bad. Perfect. They're definitely lethargic. We're not getting any action shots of coming up on bouncing poles in cold water. They're definitely just laying there until we touch the line and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, there's weight. So, not the most action-packed video, but we're sl sure we're slinging fish in the boat. And that's all that matters. So, cool. We'll rebate this up. And Hurting on them today. That's awesome. Cold water cats will be good. Another nice little eater. Awesome. Awesome. Number 14. This has been one heck of a night. This kind of spot here, as you can see, is all flooded in the lowland backwater. And we got solid bank through here. Current is coming from left to right down through here. And there's a big open flat. So I figured, set this bait. We're using cut bait right here at the edge of... Sorry, I gotta grab the bit for this pole. Um, I figured I'd set this pole with the bait on this upriver side of this big open flat so the scent would drift down across here of any channel cats coming into this backwater flooded area. And it's paid off because we've got two catfish off this one pole. Our late night check, we got a fish in this morning's check. So, four more poles. 
We'll see what we got. Alrighty, another one. This one was uh, where we caught that big one last night and we weren't able to film very well. This is a big opening in that backwater, so current's real bad. But that's number 15. Last pole, so I figured I'd just video it just in case. Uh, hold us? Yep, I got us. Fish? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> this is an awesome day. Awesome, awesome day. That's 16 out of 10 poles we ran. Barely got them. Yep. He's barking too. 16 fish, 10 poles, two checks. That's awesome. Only four. And we had three with live bait, so those were the three obviously that didn't catch. <laughs> Awesome. All right, everyone, we'll uh, show the mess of fish here at the end, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get the outro out right now. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and hit that bell notification if you would to notify yourself when we're gonna be doing some more videos. We're gonna be doing a whole lot more bank polling and a whole lot of rod and reel fishing with some bow fishing mixed in this summer, so stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot more videos.